Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Tunnel 10 Let's Play. And if I can be completely honest, I have been putting this series off. Um, it's been a very busy season for me, as you can see, no face cam still, because I am back in Poland for the CWL. And it's just been easy for me to put off the series lately, because... The Elixir Collectors and Gold Mines. You guys have, um, you know, the last two videos have been about that, upgrading these babies. And now I've only got one of each to do, so it's kind of like, hey, let's get back into the groove here. I've actually been doing some farming. As you can see, I've done like eight to ten walls in between episodes. That's where we left off last time, and now we're here. So that is awesome. I like seeing wall progress. In fact, I have a feeling we're going to max our walls well before we max out our defenses. But the way I did that is I actually did... The goblin maps, um, the old ones, actually. These aren't interesting. I mean, Sherbet Towers was the, the the last of the old goblin maps, and it was probably still super easy. Like, like throw down a few hounds, throw down a few balloons, maybe haste one or two, and we're done. You know, it was easy. So, um, if you guys would like to see me start doing the actual new goblin maps, we have 25 new ones. If you want to see me do them on my channel 10 during this series, let me know. The loot is actually pretty good. I mean... It's better than what I would probably find on a regular farming rate, at least once we get to, let me see, graduation ceremony, half a million gold in the elixir, and then it gets stupid after that, up to the dragon's lair, which is 2.5 million each. So the loot here is actually so worth it, but let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me do that, or if you'd like to see me do some regular farming raids. But yes, I've got five builders available here. Today's going to be a great day. I need some loot, so let's go get some. I am using um, Lava Loon. Um, it's super balanced in Elixir and Gold. It's not a slow training army. It's a great army. Um, so let me find a base. Actually, this is not a bad base. It's a multi-targeting Inferno. Super easy for, you know, like a good uh, a hero dive. So let's just attack this base from this side. Um, let's go. Let's go Wall Wrecker, King and Queen and oh, I don't have any baby dragons. Oh, no, I don't have any baby dragons for the funnel Okay, king and queen might actually wonder a little bit, um, but I do have some max balloons in the CC So it should be okay. Let me drop some poison spells. Do I have anything in my in the enemy CC? No good Okay, I was prepared just in case um, and these balloons are gonna pop out. Let me drop the rage There we go. They're gonna get one of the air defenses possibly even a second and pop that king's ability actually he might be able to get the other air defense, or not. He's just gonna go hang out with the other balloons. Fantastic. Good job, King. Good job. Um, <laughs> and that goes down two out of the four air defenses on this base. The La Loon should be fairly easy at this point, except for this Expo. Stupid Expo. Go down, Expo. And now the Queen's gonna get stopped on the Clan Castle. That's not great. That is just not great. Um, we didn't get either one of these sweepers though that's going to be a problem but we're going to have to come from one of the sides so i'm thinking we should come from the left side just because that's where the dark elixir storage is so let's go one two three let's go balloons up balloons right here 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 and just have some fun with it let's get some minions in there too and early haste 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 there we go haste spells down i'm also going to need a rage leading into this multi-inferno. Let's actually get a heal in there, and then let's haste through. Uh, let's just wait just a moment. Let's wait just a moment. Let's go haste right there. There we go. Because these balloons, they should actually make it to the... Oh, no. Where are all my pups, man? Stupid wizard tower. Why would you do that to me? Okay, well, I guess... Um, are we going to be okay here? Yeah, it looks like these balloons going to take out this wizard tower. These balloons are going to take out the Tesla. And everything is going to kind of come together onto these final two defenses. While we have pups and minions doing the work up here. This is amazing, guys. Looks like it's going to be a three-star. Um, time shouldn't be an issue. I mean, we have one day or one minute. Not one day. We have one whole day for the attack. Actually, you do in the goblin maps. That was kind of hilarious. Getting three stars using only one balloon because all the defenses on the goblin map at the beginning are like ground targeting. So I was able to drop this one balloon, put my phone down, do something else, and come back in like 10 minutes and boom, there's the three star. That was nice in the goblin maps, but we don't have one day in uh, the regular attacks. We only have three minutes, and it looks like we're going to have plenty of time to get the three star. And since the last buildings are holding loot... I'm going to go ahead and grab that triple. There you go. Colin, thank you for the loot, my dude. So let's see the loot. Oh, altogether 400,000 gold. That is amazing. And 420,000 elixir. And hey, 4,600 dark elixir is definitely no small number either. 
That was fantastic. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my heroes now for this next attack, but I am going to request for some CC loons. And while I wait for those to come in, let's check out a replay. Actually, the, uh, the latest attack was really, really solid because the loot was amazing. Check out this. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I did things backwards on this. This is one of those bases where you find it and you're like, why? <laughs> like, that's, that's literally what I thought was, why? Like, why is this base like this? What is going on here? Um, so, I got my balloons in. This was actually a really bad attack. I put down my balloons first before my, uh, before my hounds. So, I'm like, what happened? Where are my, where are my hounds? Where are my pups? Like, what the heck's going on here? And, um, then I realized it. I was like, oh, forgot my hounds. So, here are my hounds. And they're gonna go towards the first defense. Oh, there's no defenses left? Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is one of those defenseless bases. Had tons of loot, though. So, this is, um, uh, their, ver their own version of a an engineered base or sort of an engineered base they didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, defenses but they had a few walls and they're in the weirdest places you can imagine what is happening on this base right now like what is this is this writing in a different language that actually looks like it might be <laughs> if somebody can read that and put that in the comments that'd be fantastic um, unless it's inappropriate yeah, if it's inappropriate, don't put it in the comments. But yes, guys, um, this is going to be an easy three-star because, again, you know, nothing to stop me here except for time. We have a minute and 40 seconds of just watching basically one group of balloons just kind of cascade through this bit. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Oh, a Tesla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. Go, Hound. Hound, are you going to be able to do this? Wow, you do, like, no damage. I forgot how... Basically useless hounds are on offense. That is so bad. Watch these balloons are gonna show up and it's gonna get his pop. Boom. There you go. And now these balloons are gonna be able to re uh, realign themselves and take out a building. We have a couple of minions over here that survived, but yeah, pretty much just gonna be a waiting game for us. So should we speed through this? I guess we should double time. Uh, these balloons are gonna go through, take out the spell factory, and that's a lot of loot right there, man. 180,000 elixir. There's 180,000 gold down here. Um, I like when I find bases like this, you know, bases that <laughs> people have, I don't know if he's trying to to uh, engineer or what, but this is why I'm trying to fix my, uh, my fix engineers, because it's terrible on defense, right? So, there you go, that is the triple, oh. Interesting, why did I even wait for this? I'm trying not to gain trophies. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to triple that base because it was a weird base. So there you go. With that loot bonus, guys, 110,000 plus on both. That is almost half a million. Oh, sorry. Over half a million. That's almost 600,000 golden elixir and a genius amount of dark elixir from that lovely little base. Beautiful, guys. Just beautiful. I love it. So did we get CC? We did not get CC. That's okay. You know what? We're just going to try to find us a base that's not too difficult. And that is not too difficult. Haha. <laughs> that is a dead Town Hall 10 with a level 17 queen. A rushed queen. Perfect. Okay. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to come in from, let's see, the sweepers are both pointing in. So I'm going to come in from the side here. Um, and we'll go one, two, three. We'll get the balloons in hard and heavy. And let's get the minis in too. Booyah. We're just going to spam our stuff here. Let's get it in there. Um, I would love to see those balloons actually get into that air defense as soon as possible. Let's do this over here too. So we got it all pasted. Let's rage this wizard tower. Let's also rage this queen. Poison this queen. And I've got to heal. I'm going to heal, but I don't know who I'm going to heal just yet. Let's just wait. I'm thinking we heal this group because it doesn't have a hound protecting it. Yes. And this side does have a hound protecting it. So they are doing just fine. Actually, let's get two hounds. How did you get so lucky and get two hounds on this side and none on this side? That is just super random. Anyway. So the balloon's doing good. Um, I've got a poison spell. Should I poison the king? I don't know. It wouldn't do me any good, I guess. Um, but we do have absolutely no air targeting splash left. Just a couple of archer towers. Looks like it's going to be a three star using no heroes. But it was a dead tunnel 10. I would hope that it would triple this. Um, but, you know, it, weird things happen on occasion, right? Um, enemy queen could have been a big problem, but she was only level 17. So no big deal there. And there goes the final defense. Or the three star. Actually, oh, this is the final defense. Anticlimactic. I'm sorry. Come on, balloons. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. Yeah, I love it. Each balloon takes like 12 shots to take out. Oh, man, it doesn't get any better than that. We got so many balloons. It's a balloon parade. It is an absolute balloon, balloon parade. So the balloons should now make their way around. There's nothing on this side. Yeah, so they're just going to make their way, ring around the rosy here, grab the trash buildings. There's nothing on that side, too. So this is going to be the three star. 
Um, is there any way to avoid getting the extra trophies? No, looks like the last building will have loot, so we'll wait for that. And there you go. That was a beautiful amount of loot. Dang, man, 580,000 gold, 670,000 elixir, and 4,400 dark elixir with the loot bonus combined, and we actually maxed our gold. And we got some star bonus, oh baby. And we got a, hey, we got a wall wrecker. Super random, but thank you, Hoosier Daddy, you're amazing. So, now, what are we gonna do? We need to upgrade some stuff. I've got max gold first, so let's, uh, let me see, I got, what's, what's in my treasury? 580,000 gold. Okay, that's perfect. So let's upgrade the final gold mining elixir collector. This is taken, it feels like it's taken forever. Um, even though they're only six day upgrades, we had how many? 14 altogether. So 14 times six, that is six, seven, 84 days. Jeez, that's a long time. Of course, we're doing four at a time. So it's actually only like 21 days, but still it felt like forever. So let's upgrade the final elixir collector and gold mining. Three, two, one, bam. And of course, three, two, one, bam. And now. That'll do it for the gold mines and electric collectors. That is awesome. That feels so good, guys. I'm so stoked. Now let's upgrade this. There, or not upgrade. Let's collect that. And I've got two builders left. So what do you guys say? Let's see. We got, um, hmm. Laboratory's going to be done in a day and a half. And I'm likely going to want to upgrade something like the clone spell. I don't have any major Dark Elixir troops to upgrade. Maybe the minions. I do need to upgrade the minions. I've got the Dark Elixir for that. So let's actually, yeah, let's... Plan to use Dark Elixir on the lab again, and so that means I can use all of my Elixir today, which means let's upgrade one of these Dark Elixir drills. It is the final Elixir upgrade that I have left on the base now after the big updates. Let's, oh, thank you for the balloons trickling in from Hoosier Daddy. You're amazing. Let's upgrade this Dark Elixir drill, guys. Five and a half day upgrade. Six million Elixir in three, two, one. Bam. Okay, so, excuse me, get over here. Oh, this is super tricky. I, I don't like using my phone for this part. So, there you go. Nice, we've only got two of those left, just like on my tunnel 12. And I have now a lot of gold. What can I upgrade with gold? Besides walls, obviously. I'm going to do a ton of walls today. But I'm thinking we should start with the highest priority, which is the Archer Towers. And all of these, oh, that's level 12 already. Are all these 11s? Yeah, these are all level 11. Level 13 is max for Town Hall 10, right? Yeah, so we're gonna need to start taking all these to Town Hall, or to level 12, and then finally to level 13. So let's upgrade this guy's 5 million gold, four day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. And now the rest of the walls can go, or the rest of the loot can go into the walls. I'm all tongue tied today. Let's start with one wall here, and then I've got a few wall rings. How many wall rings do I have, actually? Let's ask the magical item section. We got three. I have three wall rings, really? Okay, well I guess that means that I get to do two walls today during the video, woo! Let's go, three, two, one, bam! And now I have no more loot. Each one's two million, I can't afford to do a wall with gold or elixir now, so I guess that is gonna have to do it for us today. Uh, remember guys, that uh, we're, we're making progress really, really fast. Let's just remember that, we're making fast progress. How many walls do I have left actually? Go and remove all, and 85. 85 times two is 170, so we have only 170 million loot left before the walls are done, and I believe that now that finally these collectors and elixir, the elixirs, collectors and gold mines are done, then um, pretty much, I'm pretty sure, the defenses are gonna be done way faster than we expect. That's what I'm hoping for at least. So, starting with the Archer Towers, but you know, every once in a while I, I might not have the gold to upgrade an Archer Tower, but I might have the gold to upgrade a cannon, because they're a little bit cheaper. So, we try to follow the list, but sometimes things just don't go 100% according to plan. So, um, I think that will pretty much do it for today. In a day and a half, like I said, we're going to be upgrading something else in the laboratory, so be looking forward to that. My next builder is in four days for the Archer Towers, so that means that... Um, I pretty much have four days to maybe get some more walls done. We will just have to see. But guys, I believe that that is going to have to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of the Tunnel 10 Let's Play. Remember to like the video if you liked it and hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.